What up YouTube? Welcome to another vlog. I'm Omar aka Tebow and today I got a lot in store for you guys. I've been out doing a whole bunch of our seeing and I wanted to do a vlog and get you guys caught up on exactly what I've been up to. First and foremost, as you can see behind me, I've been working on my SCX-10 II and this guy is almost done. Um, decided to go with a Tekken setup on it so I'm running an FXR and the 35 turn motor and then using my trusty 4PX controller to control this thing with. Funny story on this particular guy. Do you see this lovely, lovely job I've done with this little FXR over here? So let me show you guys something. This is the one that was just in there previously. For the first time in 31 years, I did something that I'm not quite proud of and I've never done before. For whatever odd reason, I just wasn't paying attention when I soldered out my battery leads on this. And I reversed the polarity. Flip that switch, a little bit of magic smoke, and brand new FXR bites the dust. Oh well, these things happen. I laughed at myself and the funny part was I happened to have another one, which I didn't realize I had a second setup just sitting there brand new but it's amazing what you can find when you go through all of your RC parts stash. So the good news was I didn't have to wait for another receiver. The bad news is I did toast this one. So that's the first thing. Another thing I'm going to have on the vlog for you today, I did go to my local hobby town today after doing a little bit of FPV flying and they happen to have that new Traxxas crawler in there. So I got some footage and I'm going to share that with you guys. And then I have also just received the May Quad Box. So for those of you that don't know, um, these Quad Boxes, there's also a drone drop that's very similar. I haven't subscribed to them, but I did subscribe for the Quad Box. And every month, uh, it's a subscription based. You can do it one time, but it is subscription based. They will send you a whole assortment of items. I did opt to go with the extra cost one, the bonus one, that gets you, I think it's like 80 or $90 worth of other parts in there. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing. We'll take a look and see what's in here. And then finally, I'm going to finish off this vlog with a little bit of flight footage from earlier today when I went out to go fly some FPV. Anyways, I'm going to cut and we're going to get into the old quad box. We'll see what we got in here, okay? All right, let's unbox this quad box and let's see what we're going to get in here. I'm going to get my trusty Exacto. Oh, let's put your cap on. For those of you that have cut yourself with one of these, they are sharp. It's no fun. There's a lot of blood. Safety first, kids. Safety first. All right, okay, cool. So let's start out with our t-shirt. What do we got? Oh, this is nice, I like it. So, we have a nice little Rotoriot Iron Man-esque t-shirt. The famous superhero landing stance. Love it, can never have enough uh, t-shirts to represent. Oh, and we got some quads. Quad blade props, some 5x4x4 five by four by four, uh, lumineers. <laughs> my favorite. I fly butter cutters all the time um, on pretty much all my quads now. And this is nice because I don't have this color. We also have some, oh, excellent. Some 5x4x3 five by by V2s and the transparent purple. Oh nice, we have a Maytech PCB, um, BEC combo over here, very nice. Five by three and a half blades. A little run cam battery strap. Whole bunch of stickers, got some Rotorite, Lumineer, oh a gift card from GetFPV, one of my favorite places to buy parts. And some quad box stickers, very nice. Nippers. 
You can never have enough of these. I kid you not, one of my side hobbies is building Gundam kits. I probably have four or five sets of these, so always excited to get more tools. In this hobby, you can never have enough tools. And then, what do we got here? What's this last little bit? This is the boost, and it is a very nice. We have, let's see if it'll focus in on that, a Micro Swift camera. And this is from Runcam. So, there we go. That is the contents of the May Quad Box. And now I'm going to flip over and I will show you guys the footage of the Traxxas, I believe it's called the TRX4 crawler. The Traxxas, did they grow up? <laughs> no, I think they're, they're trying to get into a market that they haven't been into. Yeah. All right, so this is our first look. Mm -hmm. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, no charger, no battery. Can we pop the top off? Yeah. All right, let's take a look under the hood of this bad boy. Oh, came off here. Oh, look at that. We got the guards on the bottom. That's real nice, the wheel well covers. Look at this thing. This is what I'm excited about is, so this thing has, um, it's gears in the hubs, which is pretty neat. I know there's a technical term for it, but I forgot what it's called. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Let's take a look at the bottom of that guy. Have our cable right here for the locking diffs. So you can lock and unlock from the radio. Two speeds, high and low on this guy. I like the look of it very much. These things are beefy. Happy to have pseudo crossing. Can I help you? Hey, we have some in stock, yes. Got some in there. Uh, like these shocks. Solid color with ceramic uh, bearings. They're locked up for a reason. Yes. 1999. Good old XL5. Bye. There's our servo for our two speed. The two for the locking diffs. I think these tires are nice and metal soft. Metal gears in the servo. This is suspension. Okay. Articulation. Not bad. It's a very good looking. Very good looking truck. What's the price point on this guy? Oh, it's no big deal. Yeah. Is it on sale yet, or is this just your demo it's you just got? Just a demo. We're hoping that some more come in. Let's take a look at that. Let's do an assembly. More shots of the hubs. I'll be down to the crossing. Can I help you? He is at lunch. These Austrians, it's World War II. You got it. And yet, it doesn't have the jump jacks. The jump jack is and it's showing a, a swordfish coming off. Put this up on my YouTube, Chuck. I want to say hi to all the folks at YouTube. Kind of cool, no. Okay, <laughs> I won't put you in there. <laughs> gotcha. Don't mind. Don't mind. Okay. I think I'm not doing my job. Ah, 
Ah, you're the best one here. That's the only reason I make fun of you, because I like you. I'm East Coast. I'm like that. Hey, that's same here. Right? You miss your favorite human being, Jim. He wants to know if the I illustrious... I to him twice today. I know. He wanted to know if the illustrious was a World War II, and I told him, yes, it is. Not that. I'm supposed to set that aside for him. He will be in tomorrow. Yep. Are you working tomorrow? Yep. Why? They have so many videos of this thing? I know. I'm just being smart ass. They've, been, they've gotten smart with these demo cars. Yeah. Do you know how many time, how many videos I've seen of people going to their local hobby town <laughs> and shooting video like I am for their YouTube channels? Man, that is a good looking truck. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get one of these. Alright, so we've seen the project that I'm working on. We got to look inside the quad box for May and what those contents were. And then you guys got to see the first hand look of the TRX4 crawler. Thing looks amazing. I can't begin to tell you how good it looks in person. So I think that's one I'm going to have to save up for and get. Anyways, I'm going to finish up this vlog by showing you guys a little bit of flight footage. I was out at the park today. I flew about eight packs. I had one of my buddies, George, from work. He's been asking me questions about FPV and he wanted to see some flying, so took an extra set of goggles along with me, let him ride along for the eight packs that I flew. He had a blast, I had a blast, and this video, nothing special, just me practicing a little bit of proximity flying, um, just sticking to a little path um, with tree cover, um, just helping me get a little bit better at dealing with objects around me when I'm flying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please be sure to smash that like button, share this video, and leave some comments. I love hearing from you guys. Till next time, I'll see ya.